Hi, welcome to the fourth domain of CCSK. I hope you reviewed the previous domains. This domain is going to focus on compliances and their audit management, how the uh, cloud provider and customers are impacted due to the plethora of compliances and the need of uh, the audit. You can expect three questions in the exam from this domain. Compliance is, uh, it is uh, validate the awareness of and adherence to the corporate obligations. So basically, corporate ha every corporate has their policies. Uh, they want to um, uh, comply with the different regulations, different compliances. Uh, that is their obligation. For example, if if the organization is processing um, the the healthcare uh, uh, data in the cloud, then they need to uh, comply with HIPAA. Um, so that is uh, that is uh, the um, that has to validate uh, the o that the organization is aware of uh, those uh, compliances that they need to uh, comply and uh, the adherence are uh, to the uh, to the corporate policy and obligations. The cloud customers are responsible for proving or maintaining their own uh, compliance status. Um, and in the cloud, the provider can offset some of the compliance requirement from the customer um, responsibilities. For example, um, the audit pass through. So, very important term um, audit pass through. Uh, this involves a form of compliance inheritance where the cloud providers are certified with the certain standards. For example, PCI DSS or HIPAA. If the cloud provider is certified, then um, this will become a pass-through audit uh, and also known as compliance inheritance. Then uh, the customer will not need to um, do the audit or to comply with those uh, uh, areas which are already complied uh, by uh, the cloud provider. But there are certain limitations here. Um, certify only if the, if the provider is compliant, not the customer. Uh, customer is responsible for their own cloud service compliances uh, which are built on top of the provider's uh, offerings. Um, customer is responsible for maintaining its own compliance. Audits are a um, key tool you know, for proving or disproving the compliances. So when a provider or um, when a provider or the customer saying that they do they do comply with the PCI DSS or HIPAA or any other uh, regulation or the standard, then um, the third party audit uh, third party auditors comes into the picture to validate um, whether the provider or the customers are actually adhering to uh, that particular standard. And that's where this becomes the key tool for proving or disapproving for uh, for the compliance. There are key uh, considerations uh, for the cloud compliances, things which uh, the provider and customers uh, must take care. The uh, regulator implications, um, especially for the cross-border data movements, um, this is, you know, for the regulatory implications for using a particular uh, cloud service or the provider giving particular attention to any cross-border or uh, multi-jurisdictional uh, issues when applicable. Assignment of uh, the compliance responsibilities, the provider and uh, the customer will need to understand um, their responsibilities, what they, uh, for example, what the customer can uh, inherit in terms of uh, the compliances, uh, what could be the implications um, from uh, the provider and the customer's point of view. Um, also, um, the, for example, in case of, uh, if it is the compliance inheritance, uh, where a provider may have part of their service certified as compliant, which removes this uh, from the audit scope of the customer. But the customer is still responsible for uh, compliance of everything they built on top of the provider. Um, the provider, uh, prov the, they, pro they should provide enough evidence to support compliance over the time. Um, 
this is very important uh, for demonstrating the compliances uh, that includes certain uh, evidences uh, uh, like documents related to uh, the generation of uh, of the information or any cryptographic material evidence production um, and process compliance in, in a timely manner pay special atten attention to uh, these points uh, these are very important from uh, the exam point of view you know uh, from different languages uh, or different in, in uh, different uh, words these can be asked the role of the provider audits and uh, the certifications and uh, how these affects uh, the customer audit um, or the assessment scope understand which features and uh, the services of uh, a cloud provider are within the scope of uh, which audit and the assessment manage compliance and um, audit over time so keep uh, keep checking you have to uh, keep monitoring whether uh, the service is deployed at the provider end as well as the, at the customer end whether the services comply with the uh, particular uh, standard or the regulation and um, the continuous audit is required working with the, the regulators and auditors um, this is very important if they don't have the experience in cloud computing then uh, this is going to be the nightmare for you uh, so it is very important to uh, uh, you know very important point to pay attention here uh, working with providers who may lack audit or regulatory compliance experience very important point here um, if, if the auditors are you know um, they um, they do not have um, the compliance experience or um, the provider is new they don't have compliance or the audit experience it is both ways a very a very difficult situation and uh, it is very important to check cloud compliance uh, so we are we will be discussing here um, the bullet points uh, which are very important for the exam point of view um, so in terms of the compliance that certifies the provider uh, is compliant and the customer is compliant the customer is responsible to build the compliant application uh, of course uh, if the provider has provided uh, the compliant solution and the customer is building something on top of uh, the provider's uh, solution then the customer remains responsible for um, compliance providers infra is not in the scope of customers audit very important uh, pro the customer remains responsible for uh, their own uh, applications or the services whatever they build customer is ultimately responsible for their own compliance cloud audit audit must be run independently so any third party audit it has to be um, independently um, uh, for meeting the compliances uh, with the different standards and the regulations define audit or scope of audit um, scope of audit must be very clear uh, whether you want to uh, get the audit um, at uh, infrastructure as a service layer or platform as a service layer or software as a service layer and what will be the responsibility of the customer so this is scope has to be defined that uh, um, that is going to be audited what should be there in the audit reports the so compliance uh, adherence that uh, these these areas are adhering to the compliances and identified issues and risks and uh, what is the remedy recommendation uh, further uh, for those identified issues and risk disclosure may require NDA um, if any uh, uh, if any exchanges are happening for example if the provider is sharing uh, the audit reports with the customer uh, before the contract then of course they may need some kind of NDA non-disclosure agreement um, to protect that rely on third-party audits customer needs assurance that the provider meets the regulation pen test assessment so this is the special kind of audit uh, you cannot just go and uh, run something if you want to scan some services then you need a special permission artifacts 
what are the artifact audit artifacts um, these are the logs documentation and the other material needed for the audit and compliances quick recap uh, compliance audits and uh, assurance should be continuous providers should clearly communicate their uh, audit results certification and attestation so it has to be on the regular basis uh, uh, to to the customers Cloud provider must maintain their certification or attestation. So it means that they need to go uh, on a regular uh, audits um, and uh, they need to check whether um, there are any new updates in the standard and then again uh, get their infra audited and then share the report uh, with the customers. Cloud providers should engage in a continuous compliance initiative to avoid creating any gaps. Um, as we discussed in the previous point, um, if, if there is any update from the standard, then to avoid any gap, uh, it has to be the continuous uh, audit. Provide customer commonly uh, needed evidence and artifacts of the compliance. So any any um, artifacts which uh, the customer uh, may need from the provider. Uh, for the compliance inheritance purpose then uh, this should be available uh, with the customer customer must understand the compliance obligations of course uh, what their organization is supposed to um, uh, you know obligate uh, they need to understand uh, what is their corporate policy etc um, they need to understand that customer understand scope of audit uh, very important uh, what are the overall responsible for uh, they really need to understand that thanks for watching i hope you uh, uh, like the video please subscribe like comment or share thank you